let's try to learn the concept of area area is the amount of surface covered by a closed figure so let's look at these two books a math book and a story book now looking at these two pictures can you tell which book has bigger area yes the story book has bigger area because it covers more surface now this was easy to tell why because the books are visibly different you know visibly you can tell that the story book looks bigger than the math book but sometimes it is not easy to tell which one is larger and which one is smaller for example suppose there are two rooms in the house and you are not sure which room out of these two is bigger then what would you do you would try to find some idea to understand which room is larger what can you do yes you can count the number of tiles on the floor in both the rooms and wherever you find more number of tiles you will know that that room covers more area and that's how that num that room is larger or if there are no tiles what would you do you can put the pages of old notebook or you can put pages of a newspaper and see how many pages cover the room so the room that needs more number of pages that would be a bigger room but instead of the tiles or the old notebook pages or the newspaper can you put something like this can you put something which is circular in shape or oval in shape and measure the area no this is not a good idea because it leaves spaces in between you see this shape is leaving spaces so you can figure out that instead of this oval shape or a circular shape what is easier it is easier to check which area is smaller and which is larger using a rectangular or a square shape so let's learn which is the most convenient shape to use to measure any area the most convenient and therefore a standard shape to measure any area is square therefore the standard unit of measuring area is called as square now let's look at this square every side of this square is 1 cm in length so the area covered by this square is called as 1 square cm or you can write this in short form as 1 sq cm that that tells it as 1 square cm now here is another square now every side of this square is of 1 meter in length so the area covered by this square is called as 1 square meter so here onwards we will always use square as the standard unit to measure area we will always tell the area as square meter or square centimeter or square kilometer and so on now let's look at this area now what is the area of this square you see this area is covered by four small squares that means area of this figure is 4 square cm what is the area of this figure 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 6 squares cover this area that means area of this figure is 6 square cm let's look at some more examples now you see this stripe this rectangular stripe the area of this stripe is 5 square cm because there are five such squares now this figure's area is 6 square cm you can measure the squares here and the area of this figure is again 5 square cm now you can see that two figures here have area as 5 square cm but the shapes are very different 
so if we do not have anything to measure it would be difficult to say if the area is same or not but since we are putting small squares there and measuring we can say that area of both of these figures is 5 square centimeter now here is a rectangle and as you can see there are these six squares so the area is six square centimeter now can you look at the length and breadth of this rectangle the length is three centimeter and the breadth is two centimeter as you can see because every square is of one centimeter uh, side that means i can also write this area as two multiplied by three equal to six so the area of this rectangle rectangle is 2 cm multiplied by 3 cm is equal to 6 square cm like this i can calculate area of any rectangle so what i learn is area of rectangle can be calculated as length multiplied by breadth or you can call it in short form as l multiplied by b now let's look at this square area of this square is 4 square centimeter and each side of this big square is 2 centimeter so i can write write this as 2 centimeter multiplied by 2 centimeter equal to 4 square centimeter so i can write it as area of square equal to side multiplied by side because it would be applicable to any square you can try it out so side multiplied by side or side square is the area of the square. Now let's look at some more examples. Here is a rectangle. Its length is 8 cm and breadth is 3 cm. So it, its area would be 8 multiplied by 3 is equal to 24 square cm. Now every time I do not need to put small squares to cover the rectangle. To figure out the area i can simply use my formula multiply length by breadth and calculate the area now here is a square the side of the square is four centimeter so what would be the area the area would be 16 square centimeter again i'm not going to put the small squares here all i need to do is use my formula now let's look at some more examples Let's start with a rectangle. The length is 9, breadth is 7, so area would be 63. If length is 10 and area is 30, what would be the breadth? 30 divided by 10, which would be 3. Because 10 3 is a 30, that means breadth has to be 3. Now if I don't know the length, I know the breadth is 4 and area is 48. What would be the length? 12 folds are 48 that means the length is 12 now let's go over the examples of square if the side of the square is 7 the area would be square of 7 or 7 sevens are 49 so the area would be 49 now if the area is 100 what would be the side 10 tens are 100 that means the side is 10. If the side is 9, what would be the area? 9 nines are 81. That means the area is 81. 